We're here at Lincoln Financial Field for this NFC matchup between the St. Louis Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles. The linebackers today could be the difference makers. You know, since your old teammate Lawrence Taylor, it seems like the rest of the league has now gotten it for the last 20 years or so. These guys really have the ability to dictate the game. So many, well, you know what it is too, Jim? There are more good linebackers out there now than there are defensive linemen. So more and more teams are building their football teams around the linebackers. They can do a little bit of everything, so it makes your defense very tough to, to figure out. You can disguise, and that's why they're such important parts of the game. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First and ten. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Good for 21 yards. When you have runs like that or big plays, and you pick up over 20 yards, that is an explosive play, and almost always explosive plays leads to points for the offense. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. First and ten. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. And he'll try it left. Got the first and he's got some space. Early in this game, Phil. And already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. They motioned the receiver around to the other side. First and ten. Leaning on that running attack again here on first down. Has some space to work with. Going to take it home for the touchdown. Now you know why running backs get drafted out. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about. Making big plays, and when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Open receiver on the right. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback's eye. Second in the yard, eye formation, and a running play. That's not a good job by the running back. Play the situation. It's second and short. Get the first down. He makes a bad decision, gets tackled short, and now we got a tough third down coming up. Third down. The give. Trying to plow ahead. 
There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. Oh, almost caught. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed, and when it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. Jackson's going to try and return this punt. Breaks the tackle. Gains 16. Eagles will go with the pistol on this play. The wide receiver in motion. First and ten. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. That brings the play to an end. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. The Philadelphia Eagles with a whole new look and a whole new approach this year, Phil, with Chip Kelly on that sideline. Oh, so many people. I'll tell you what. You know, so many people are interested to see what Chip Kelly does. I know all the college people are rooting big time for him to say, hey, look, our way works. And we, we're showing the old stodgy NFL. Uh, it's going to it's gonna have some tough moments, Jim. No doubt about it. We'll see how Chip Kelly adjusts. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. Here they come back to the line after the 50-yard gainer on the previous play. First and goal, and they go back to the ground. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Second and goal from the four. They're running the option. Six in the foot. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. First down. Set up screen. They tackle him for a loss. You gotta give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Second down after that pass play. They're gonna get him here for a sack. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you gotta know you gotta drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation. 
is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? The quarterback is getting very familiar with the ground as he's decked for the second consecutive play. Oh, unfortunately, I knew that feeling as a player too, Jim. And, and I, I don't know who to blame here. The quarterback held on to the football a little too long, but the offensive line has just got to be more aggressive and they got to be tougher to keep these guys off of them. Jackson's going to try and return this punt. Steps out of bounds. There's nothing like a good punt returner. Just give him a little hope. Just make somewhat of a decent block. He'll do the rest. That's what we saw that time. First down on the way. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the NFL. The fade route. The defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice throw. Nice touchdown. Everyone's lined up for this kickoff. it out to about uh, 27 before he's taken down. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. Sounds like it's just a minor issue and he'll be back on the field shortly. They come to the line and it's first down. That ball has been picked off. Good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defense back. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. The Rams defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. A lot of athleticism on display right there. Two battling for the football, and no one able to come away with it. Well, you said it right, to two tremendous athletes, but a good job by the defense that time. They won out. I know, talking about the Eagles and talking about Coach Kelly, you have a lot of respect for him and all the magnificent things he did at Oregon. But it's almost like you've got to see it to believe it at the NFL level that his system's going to work here. Well, he was beat by a year. Some of his thoughts were run in the NFL last year by the San Francisco 49ers and the Washington Redskins. And Chip Kelly, he is truly a football coach. I've known him for about 15 years when he was an assistant up in New Hampshire and just a camp, a camp counselor at Boston College, so he loves football. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Throws to the right. On the money. Touchdown. They're just running it up. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. Tackle by Trent Cole. down as they head to the line dropping back three getting sacked well that's a good job by the defense at the time getting the sack on the blitz and when you blitz you're taking a chance you better get to the quarterback and that time they did second down coming up and he's 
going down again. You talk about a blitz on the defensive side, it's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. Not getting on the field, no. Sam Bradford will be under center. The Rams turn the ball over on down. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, 